here we have a circuit. What we know about it at the start, there's 12 volts between that point and that point. We know that resistance is 2K and we know that resistance is 4K. What we want to find is V out. Now what we know are Ohm's laws. Okay, v equals IR, R equals V upon I, and I equals V over R. We also have Kirchhoff's voltage law, which says that 12 volts will equal V out, plus that voltage there I'll call V2. And we also know from Kirchhoff's current law that the current flowing down here must be the same all the way down. There's nowhere for the current to go. Remember, current is like water flowing. There's no, only one path for the water to go, so the water must come down here. So it's the same current going through the 2K as goes through the 4K. Looking for somewhere to start, we need to know, to use any of the Ohm's laws, we need to know two things to find the third. Okay. So if we look at the start down here, it's V out I'm after in the end. I only know down here 4K. I only know one thing. Up here, I only know 2K. Okay. Between these two points, however, I know the voltage is 12 volts, and I know I've got two resistors in series, giving me a total resistance of 6K. So RT equals R1 plus R2, that equals 6K. So I know the resistance, and I know the voltage. I know the resistance and the voltage, so I can calculate I. I equals V over R equals 12, and the 12 is a current across 6K, so that equals 2 milliamps. If you're working in kiloohms, your answer will be milliamps. Okay. So now, I found an answer, so I'll stick that on my diagram, 2 milliamps. Down the bottom here, where V out is, I now know the resistance and the current. So V out equals I times R equals 4 times 2 equals 8 volts. If I then wanted to find V2, I can use Kirchhoff's voltage law. V out plus V2 will equal 12. So V2 will equal 12 minus V out. So that will be 12 minus 8, so that's 4 volts. Here we have another potential divider. I know that's 20k, and I know I want out 2 volts from here. I want to find the size of a resistor here that gives me an output of 2 volts. Using Kirchhoff's voltage law, that says that voltage of 2 plus that voltage there must equal the supply. So 2 plus will be 10 volts will give me the supply. Now, using Ohm's law, we know only one thing there, the 2 volts, so that's no use to us. We know between there and there, we know the total voltage is 12, but we don't know the total resistance. Between these two points, we know the voltage and we know the resistance, so up here we can work out the current. So I equals V over R equals 10 over 20, so that's 0 0.5 milliamps. 0 0.5 milliamps. So we can add that on the diagram, so that's 0 0.5 milliamps. There's only one path for the current to take, so all the current must flow down through here. So it's half a milliamp up there, it must be half a milliamp down here. We now know two things down here, we know the voltage and the current. Between these two points we know the voltage and the current. So R equals V upon I, it equals 2 over a half equals 4K. Here we have two voltage dividers which are both going to measure the level of the light. Here we have a resistor and an LDR and here's the output from the voltage divider. The resistance of the LDR changes with the level of the light. The graph is here. This is in the dark. This is in the light. Lux is the, the measure of uh, light level. And up this y-axis we have the cell resistance. Notice the graph is a log graph. That is 1K there. That's 10K. That's 1K, 
2k, 3k, 4k, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10k, 20k, 30k, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, top one is 100k. Moonlight on the Lux scale is about 0 0.1, so it's off this graph. Fluorescent lights come in at 500 lux, that's 500 lux there. That's 100, 2, 3, 4, 500 lux. Sunlight is off the scale, it's 30,000 lux. Now, as it gets lighter, the resistance of the LDR decreases. The lighter it is, the smaller the resistance for the LDR. So if we go back to our potential dividers, if we start with this one in the dark, it's got a high resistance. It's a high LDR resistance. Okay. This resistor here, if it's fixed, yeah, we'll just say it's at like a 10k. So in the dark, the, it's around about 70,000 ohms that one is, most of the voltage will appear across V out. If that was a 70k and that's a 10k, most of the voltage will be here on the voltage divider. So in the dark, V out will be big. As it gets lighter, this resistance decreases. So in the light, V out will be small for this one. And this circuit here, in the dark, again, that's got a big resistance, so the voltage here will be big in the dark. So that means V out is small. And this one, V out, is small in the dark. And in the light, that resistance goes small, so there'll be less voltage across here, and V out will be big. So if you like, this is a light sensor, which gives a high output in the light, and this is a dark sensor, which gives a high output, a high out voltage output in the dark. Let's consider circuit A. At the moment, I'm sitting in the classroom with fluorescent lighting. So we could expect the lux level to be around about 500 lux. So if we look at our table here, 100, 2, 3, 4, 500 lux comes up, hits that line there. Now that's 1k, that's 0.1k, so that's 100 ohms, 200 ohms, it's about 260 ohms would be the resistance of the LDR. So that's 10k, that's 260 ohms. I'll change that to 0.26k. I want to find what V out is. Between there and there, we know the total resistance is 10k plus 0.26. So that's 10.26 and we know the voltage is 12. So I equals V over R equals 12 over 10.26 and 12 divided by 10.26 equals oh, 12 divided by 10.26 equals 1.17 milliamps. So that's the current flowing down through both those resistors, put on your diagram, 1.17 milliamps. So V out will equal IR equals 1.17 times 0 0.26. So V out will equal 0 0.304 volts. So that would be the output you'd expect from this in a room lit by fluorescent lamps. Look at it again. With a fluorescent light, we've got an output voltage of 0 0.304. If now it goes into a darker condition, 
and let's just say with an illumination of 1 lux, that means we'll have, that's 10,000, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, so around about 75,000 K. So the resistance of the LDR is around about 75 K. So now to calculate what the new V out would be in almost dark conditions. Between these two points, we know the total resistance is 85 K. So the current will be V over R equals 12 over the 10 plus 75, which is 85. 12 by 85, there it goes. So that's a current of 0 0.141 milliamps. Put on here at 0 0.141. There's nowhere else for the current to go. All the current must go all the way down here. So V out equals I times R equals 0 0.141 times 75. And that will equal 10.6 volts. So in the near dark, V out equals 10.6 volts. Darker it gets, the bigger the voltage gets.